Hello, hi, howdy. Welcome to what well, should be the proper introduction to my channel, The Forges of Strife. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I'm going to be having three main things going on here. One, uh, as you can see, I've already got a couple of uh, Fortnite gameplays on. I'm still working on OBS and getting that to uh, go through the replay better or have better audio, tweaking it. But so far, I mean, for a free program, and highly recommended, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, I'm also going to be going over some of my um, cosplay stuff I've been getting into, some projects. Uh, and then I have my own interpretation of the SCP um, universe, as you can see my backdrop. Uh, my shelf has got a few other SCP-related things up there. And, of course, I will have some 40k projects and such I'm working on. I don't know if I actually have any 40k gameplay in. I had a friend who was doing that. He passed away a couple years ago. I'm, I don't... Maybe down the road once I get some more editing skills and... Um, more time to play, to be quite honest. I uh, just haven't been having as much time to play as actually work on models. So, but as far as working on stuff, I do have a few projects and such I like to show off. I've been working on gathering the bits to work on new Ceresis Lancer Knight. <clears throat> okay, well, I've been playing 40K for over 20 years. I got into it when a friend gave me a couple squads of Marines and a couple Rogue Trader Era tanks, Space Marine tanks. I mean, and nowadays that probably would have been like three, four hundred dollars for the models. Back then it was nearly that, and I've been hooked ever since. I've played Space Marines uh, consistently. I've had Eldar, Tyranids, Chaos Space Marines. Um, but I've always had a love of Imperial Knights. I, when I was younger, I also liked BattleTech. So the whole Mecha thing, I've I've liked. So, when I could play Imperial Knights, and they actually brought that as a playable faction in 40k, I was all aboard, and pretty much that's been my main faction since, and um, I have some of my own takes on some of the models, like, even my regular Marines, I'd have them heavily customized, so I definitely heavily customize all my Knights. So, again, I'm starting on putting together parts for a Lancer now that... Um, Lancers, Night Lancers have their own kits. I'm waiting for my kit itself to come in, but I've had some bits I've had set aside for a while. Finally getting a proper use. One is back, um, I can't highly recommend this third party person up a tarot model maker. I got, um, the Aquila shield when he first had it out. Can't get these kind of more. He does sell other shields, but not with the Aquila pattern on it. Highly recommend it. Any of his stuff. Uh, he, he does most of his stuff's night related, night related, and he has um, loyalist and chaos stuff, and uh, very some mechanicus related stuff. So pretty much, if you play knights, you're gonna find something you like. And um, he has posable hands. Let's see, there you go. So. That looks like a rather ordinary grip. I mean, that's not even a grip there, really. But that's his fingers. And so this, I've had shield for a while. I tried to make it where it's magnetized on a previous night build, but it's just too heavy. So that's why when they put made the Lancers, I was like, yep, yeah, okay, I'm going to make a dedicated Lancer. Instead of having the energy shield that they have, I'm going to have a massive Aquila shield. And um, I also saw... It was a, like a non-zero Thor. It wasn't a Gundam mecha, but it looked like one. Anyways, they had a um, big hammer with it. And I said, well, instead of having a lance, I'm going to have a big hammer. Go along with some of my uh, Viking Norse themes. And um, I, uh, I underestimated the size of said hammer. I'm still going to use it. I mean, 40K is nothing if not overkill. But here, 
here's my actual hobby hammer. <laughs> this is something I use for hobby work. And this is for my knights. This is the shield next to said hammer. These are models on 12, 25 millimeter bases. So yeah, massive hammer. But it's supposed to be a swing weapon. And I figure with the tip here, it can um, it look like it's shooting out the lightning for its limited range attack. So I like the idea. So I got that for it. I've got some more tarot stuff. He's got the short armor. Just like it's It gives a uh, protection for well, the shorter mechanism and gears. And then I've got some other stuff in here. I'm working towards a new Dominus, which, not that I need a third one, but I, after reading a Serium Kingmaker, I decided why not. And also after reading a Serium King, Kingmaker, I decided to. Most days, it, well, actually, utterly as a display piece for when I have my army on display. Have my own arch maintenance, I found this guy on Etsy. Covenant of Mars or something. I'm going to uh, mod out his the axe head with an actual Omnis, Omnisci axe from uh, one of the tech priests. I forget exactly offhand. And I'm going to remove the heft, shorten the heft, because that's a, that's going to break anyways. And I'm going to put the, one of the ends of the Grey Knight Warding Staff at the end. Because if you paint it up red and white, it looks very much has an Admech theme to it. So, he's mostly just going to be as a display piece to go along with my, when I actually have my army on display. I have, let's see. My own armagers, I have my own... Gold of them. Like I said, I was always a fan of Battletech. Now, technically, this is a Robotech Glog chassis here, but it's the same thing as a Marauder 2C from Battletech. And it is literally the chassis of the 1 100th scale Glog kit is exactly the same scale size as an armature chassis. So, I mean, it's very minimal work to get it to work. I just, normally there's a sensor here on the Glog, and so I make it where the legs, armature legs connect here. And where the legs would connect here for the Glog, I put a reactor cover on it, just like a normal knight would have it. So it fits very well. Um, as you can see, the arm joints fit right, what, uh, right where the uh, Glog body go you know it's arms got I me mean, it works really well uh, another thing I like to do with my knights that I think it helps set some apart plus it just makes bookkeeping easier on all my knights I have these uh, dice wound holders I get these from the fearless customs um, and in ninth edition uh, quest or mechanicus houses could have actually 13 wounds on the armatures and even though they've changed that now in 10th edition who knows so I'm still planning ahead in case they ever can have more than 10, 12 wounds again so d12 d6 I used to have on some of my bigger knights I would get some banners and I'll show them later from Michael Swartz uh, custom banners that would go between the legs but he took a hiatus for quite a while. I did actually. I had no idea what was going on with him. He's back and he's doing, uh, doing making banners again, and they look great. But I had transitioned to versatile terrain nameplates, so I have custom names and titles on all my knights. I try to make them all unique in some way. I didn't even think normal. If you read the stories, even regular Marine Adeptus of Sartes are individual characters and there's definitely no reason why a knight a true relic of the Imperium shouldn't be completely customized itself and I, I've always liked Inquisitors 
and I have my inquisitor I've been working on for my because it's common to have inquisitors and agents and knight army just because of the points of the knights it's hard to fill up 2,000 points effectively so I like an inquisitor which the tracks are just from an objective counter from an order series uh, there's a little pedestal and seat on there but I cut that off um, she is from Heresy Lab. I suppose a little empress on her throne. And it actually fits almost perfect on here. Onto the uh, tracks. And then I took the little dragon guy off. That character inquisitor. I don't remember her name offhand. But it's who I run this character as anyway. So again, the inquisitor has her own little nameplate. Not quite done painting her, but definitely has a unique feel to it, which I like. And having my my house, my night house is a, a quest star mechanic, so I like to have a lot of ad mech feel to my stuff. So again, that's why she's got her own mobile throne. My inquisitorial war band I'm working on. Not this guy. Um so this particular one is actually not part of the Inquisitorial War Band. This is gonna be my Canis Rex pilot, which is the named knight you can run, which gets some special abilities. And then I've got my Acolytes, which I've got four of these guys. Again, I change out their heads. Mostly, they're mo mostly just Pelsates from Forge World, but I change out the head to give them a little bit more of a, well, odd look to them. I like them. And instead of having, because I do have a demon host model, but because I'm trying to run a more of a mechanicus look, I didn't really want to run a normal demon host that just doesn't look right. So I put her together, an Imperial Guard commander. And the idea is that she has a shield and her expander here can make the shield go over the entire group because that's what a demon host does in at least 10th edition is it allows your the shield to protect the entire inquisitorial warband and then of course i have my own little servitor plasma cannon servitor which i use an old epic knight for which i think is funny so those are the my, my inquisitorial warband i'm working on and i've got a little chaos avatar hey say hi ray Say hi, Ray. Don't show off your butt. Can you get down now? And this is one of my 40k cosplay things I'm working on. I got a, uh, I guess, it's called a cyberpunk mask. The uh, hoses were about three times bigger than they were now. I cut them down. Just about got done painting where I'm happy with. I just need to seal spray it and then do a little bit of touch-ups. It just had a cheap little harness on the back. But um, I had a really nice mask I used during COVID times, and I decided to make use of it. So there's a better strap on. It straps on my face better for when I'm wearing it. So I've almost got that done for when I do my 40K cosplay. So that's my main project for 40K I'm working on right now. I, I do, uh, do have some storyline ideas for my SCP universe. I have uh, my own MTF agents and uh, MTF group. And I will be slowly expanding on that. I'm trying to get a few more things put together. I'm going to be probably having more of my characters discussing some pre-established SCPs as well as creating some of my own. I can't really... I don't like writing down the style that they've got in the wiki. I mean, props off to them for doing it. And I enjoy the stories. I just, I can't write like that myself. But I figure I can tell the stories in my way that I want to. And then, so I'm going to be working on that. That's probably going to be my slowest script key type thing I put on the channel. But obviously the thing I'm also looking forward to the most. And then... I have a few other random things like I have some I like movie reviews stuff I look forward to like when the next Godzilla Kong movie comes out I may talk about that when the new FNAF movie comes out definitely talk about that um 
any other cosplay stuff I'm working on. Like I've got should have been more better organized. This is Absolver pistol Absolver pistol I'm working on for my uh, 40k Inquisitor. Of course, he's an Inquisitor, and um, so I use the same symbol. Probably see it better on the side for my uh, army, my 40k army. It's the Kattet symbol from the Dark Tower series. I just, I'm a big fan of the Dark Tower series and the Stephen King. My um, 40k house for my Nexus house, Tet. So, that's something else I'm working on for my cosplay. <clears throat> so, that's mostly what I'm going to be going with. Um, I Again, I'm just starting on this. It's going to be a rough intro. Learning the ropes, how to get everything going so bear with me i am more than happy to take input advice um criticism you'll just get uh anesthetics and just forget about everything <laughs> so we'll see how this goes and uh hope you enjoy yourself long days and pleasant nights